Hi YouTube, have you ever had a photo like this? Or like this? Well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the red or bluish or yellowish tint that goes onto your photos. And today, I'll show you how to fix that. So let's go ahead and get started. Not sure if it appears on the screen or not, but if you can tell the, what do you call it? The wall is in a yellowish tint, and this is set on auto white balance. So sometimes auto white balance does not always catch exactly what you wanted to catch. So if I were to take a picture, which I'll um, show it after, it might be blurry. No, it's fine. So as you can see, it is yellow. So to fix that, you must go into the menu set. I'm not sure if you can see the buttons. Um, record um, and go down to all white balance so as you can see it's set originally on auto white balance and then you have different presets like daylight cloudy shade incandescent white set which is what I'll show you and white set setting so basically these two are for like if you cannot get the white balance through auto white balance, you can physically or manually set it. So go ahead and press that one. And then you'll get this square frame over here. So you use this and find the white point on like on the area that you're shooting in. And press the set button which shows like right there. So I'm gonna just go take a get the wall right now. So there it is, it's set now. So when you go back to take the picture, the photo is so much more white now. It's easier to, like it doesn't have that yellowish tint to it. So basically that is how you do it on the camera. So now I'll show you how to fix it on existing photos that you have that are in the yellowish or blue tint. Fix photos with an incorrection of white balance. You'll need a program that can fix um, something called color cast. So I'll be using Photoshop Element 11. I've seen that it works on all elements so far and also the CS and the CC. So I have here four sample images that I'll be correcting right now. So first of all, I'll just highlight them all and open in Photoshop. So let that open up, it seems like it's too big, okay there we go. So here we have four photos and you can see that a lot of them are red which is because I dramatized it so that it will be in daylight. So let's say you accidentally took it in the wrong white balance and this last one here is actually the automatic white balance which was taken on my old camera, the Panasonic TZ5, which has the broken screen if you've seen it in my previous videos. So as you can tell, it's really yellow and I think it was taking white balance in this area, but this is the foreground, not, we're not trying to get the background. So we'll fix that right now. So in Photoshop, you go under Enhance, adjust color and remove color cast so when you read the direction for color cast it says to correct color cast click on part of the image that should either be white gray or black elements will adjust the photo based on where you click so it's like you'll be using a color picker so what i find best is to use the whites of the image but you can go ahead and use black or gray but in my experience it doesn't really work well so as you can tell this was probably the white area that was supposed to be so you just click on it and there you go it's fixed but unfortunately the background turns blue but that doesn't matter because we're getting the foreground 
And if you really want me to try, um, I'll try the blacks. See, it doesn't really work. It turned back to the original. Let's try fine grays. See, well, this gray over here works. Now let's find a black area. See, it's green now. So basically, white usually works the best. So go ahead and press OK. And now just save it like so. And I'll just change the name to C for corrected. And then you have your JPEG options. So that's it. And I'll go ahead and do that to the rest of them. I might go ahead and fast forward this just for you to see the results of the thing. So um, now I'm complete, so I'll just go ahead and close Photoshop and I'll just use preview to show you the results. Okay, so I'll go into full screen. So here's the after of this photo. Here's the before, major difference. And here is the second one, the after which I could have fixed the, le the levels, but just for the sake of the video, just particularly in white balance. And here's the before. And here's the after of this picture. And here's the before. And here's the last and final picture, the Lego person. And this is the before. So that pretty much wraps it up guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and go ahead and press the subscribe button if you really want to see more videos like this. So thanks anyways and goodbye.